baka lang ba mas madali lang sana kasi uwi ako agad. Tapos nandito ako sa hospital na naman because of the side effects na mga doon. Any other? Yes, yes. It's still a new. It's still. It doesn't have something to do with the regulation of calcium. Um, wala ako kasi ng calcium na yung sa si Palolo Cetron yung di pa sa updates nila. Wala, wala ako sa sinulat doon man sa kanilang literatures. And also, is there any hepatorenal precaution? Nada ma. Kaya sila, kaya pinopromote nila kasi this is the safest that we can give to these patients. I'm not sure lang if I missed it, but um, covered ba dun? Covered yeah, ba yung no, no, no. Ah. yung gani, uh, OB gani patients? Covered ba dito sa sa, yung sa protocol? So, OB yung, yung okay. risk factor. So, they are the we, ano can, we can give them eh. Diba pa sa mga for Kung yung sa obstetric patients natin, what we do give is the promethacine oh. with the nagbiting IV, uh, IN. Okay. So, may coverage na siya doon. But si Palono Cetron, wala, siya, wala pa kasi silang studies with regards to obstetric patients. But gynecologic patients, meron. Yung scoring natin before, uh, earlier, kasali yes. sila doon, right? Yes. So, meaning was... parang automatically, more or less, they are already higher risk. Yes of having post-operative nausea and vomiting, mm. but we cannot give lang pala ng cetrol. Tama. Uh, ano what, yes. Uh, wala siya sa kanila. It's off-label use. Okay. But it's now upon the discretion of the anesthesiologist if you want to give it. So wala, wala naman kasing study silang maibibigay na na, uh, na pwede siya. So not at all. An, an, an ethical din naman kasi kung mag-study sila na for our OB patients, all of OB, so wala. I haven't given one sa OB patient. So is it sure to say na when we have obstetric patients, we should give prophylaxis? Speak to our, yung mga na, natutunan natin itong unang panahon. <laughs> so what we usually give, the diphenhydramine or the promethazine. Yun, that's the safest kasi. Na, na by, by time or through time, alam natin walang mangyayari sa patient natin. So this, unless you are a very brave soul, kung nagbigay ka ron, you, you can tell us. Pwede naman kasi na magbigay ka ng anecdotal mo. You can give it sa mong pharma. Bigay mo sa kanila na, oh, ito yung ano, ito yung mga naging report. Yes, you can report it. Kahit na walang mga kakaibang nangyari sa patient mo, you can still give it to them. Para meron din silang studies nila. Pero po, so far, wala. Some more questions uh, from the pediatric, pediatric group. Do you have any uh, clarifications, inquiries? Doctora, how about if uh, what you discussed was uh, related with Post yes, sir. How about in cases where it is not related to posto, pero suka ng suka, may role ba yan? Sir, we, we need to address why the patient is suka ng suka, baka dehydrated si patients or mga ganun. But I've used the 75 mics for non-post-op non patients. So yung mga, uh, let's say, uh, <coughs> yung na-address mo na ang other uh, other problems na patient tapos andun pa din. Pwede siya, but that's still of label use. Po. There is the uh, another one, yung 250 mics na palo na sa but that's sa chemo-induced nausea and vomiting po yun. Wala pa silang study, sir, with regards to non-post-op patients. Siguro kung... Ang approved din kasi na indication is for prevention of post-op nausea. Yun yung, ano, kaya yun yung pinaglalaban din. Yun yung pinahighlight. Kahit na yun yun siya. Tapos mga HMOs. For science, first trimester, pregnancy, hindi pwede. Kasi hindi siya, yun 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 yung indication. Yun yung indication. 
Baka maano kasi kami din. Pag sinabi kasi nila sir na, you can use it, yung ganito. Tapos wala nung sa literature nila, ang magkakaroon ng sakina, he's the doctor pa din po. Not their company po. So we also need to protect ourselves. Ang daya nila. Testing. Pag nag-testing kayo, sir, i-update niyo po, i -update po sila para ma-update din kami. Ay, pwede. Ginamit ni Dr. Benito, wala namang adverse reaction sa patient. So, tapos isulat lang yung mga case. Parang meron silang kailabas, sir, baka after five years, yung name niyo, sir, mabigaw na doon sa akin. Ito, 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 Suka ni suka asa anestesiologis ko. Propofol. Nigi propofol. 20 milligrams. Ini mga sa anestetik dose. Pero, syempre for non anestesiologis, mahira po maghandle na propofol. Baka magaya po kay Michael Jackson. So, careful na lang with it. Um, most problems ng mga Lord at ng post-op are shivering naman po eh. Shivering aside from this. Shivering tamadong can also be used sa shivering patients. <coughs> Tapos aside from the tramadol, uh, pwede pong bigyan ng uh, petidine. Pero si petidine, we cannot use it sa patients natin may eclampsia or pre-eclampsia baka siya at naging dahilan na ang pre-eclamp siya lang sana tapos naging eclamptic si patient because of the pwede din na binigay ng pwede. Yung natural anesthetics now, lesser lesser abominating? Sir? The newer one. Sir, it will always depend on the doses that we give sa anesthetics natin. So, kaya naglabas si ERAS ng protocol multi-modal anesthesia approach po. Para a little bit of everything. So, we can give TIVA with sleep dose of the volatile para konti lang yung pagising ng patient, lalo na pag prolong ang surgery po. So, always balance anesthesia po. Kasi kung isa lang ang anesthetic na binigay natin, higher po ang risk ng patients na adverse reactions. Any other first reactions aside from the chest? Chest rigidity, chest tightness. Yung na-mention nila, sir, the least, ano po, yung prolongation, QT interval. Pero sila po ang the least. So far, yun pa lang, sir, at least may mga mag-report po. Kasi since Panolo is still bago, 2014, bagong-bago pa po sila, sir. I think yung chest tightness, kung magbigay mo lang at least. Sir? If I heard it right, yung chest tightness, usually it would happen na yun if binigay mo lang at least. Yes, sir. Pero kung... Yun nga. Pero kung... Mostly, pag anesthesia, we always do titration. But as a... Yes, sir. Apo. Ang dialysis patients, we can use it na lang po. We don't need to adjust the dose for them. Sa dialysis patients, we can also use the NSAID, sir. Hindi na doon mga bayad sa dialysis mo doon. But if the patient is on dialysis, nalilinis naman po kasi siya. So yun yung dictum po doon. Some more questions. Okay, so may I request our president, Dr. Jose Ferrante Salada, to give uh, the certificate of appreciation to Dr. Jesse J. L. Babo in grateful appreciation for sharing her expertise and knowledge as resource speaker during the roundtable discussion entitled A Step to Support Recovery of Postoperative Patients through post-operative nausea and vomiting. On September 27, 2019 at the FB Hotel,
Coronado City, South Catabato. Signed, Dr. Jose Ferrante Sabano. May I also request Dr. Janet Celis to award the token of appreciation to Dr. Paco. Anesthesiologist, we have to do Support, support. May I also request Dr. Amonseda and Dr. Nistisan yes. and Dr. Magan to join us in front for a photo op with Dr. Patrick. Please. Okay.